Hello dear students, in this small video we are going to learn dynamics of a car moving on a circular level road and we are going to derive an expression for maximum speed with which a car can take a turn in a circular level road. Okay. Uh, you might have observed if you are moving very fast in a bicycle, suddenly you cannot take a turn. There is a maximum safe speed with which you can take a turn. Okay, if you take a turn uh, with uh, a velocity higher than that, there is a possibility that the cycle will skid or you will be thrown out. Okay, so we will we will consider, say this is a circular level road. Actually, the road is like this. Okay, horizontal circular level road. And here there is a car. Say this is a car. Okay. Or uh, <coughs> I can write the same scenario here like this. Here there is a car. Okay, here there is a car. Moving in a circular level road. Now what happens? When it is moving in a circular level road, okay, the centripetal force uh, acting on the car or reaction of centrifugal force okay reaction of centripetal force or we call it a centrifugal reaction is acting outwards hope you can understand when you are taking a turn when you are taking a sharp turn you feel like you are being thrown outwards correct now when you are going in a bus or when you are going in a car when the car takes sudden sharp turn you are being thrown outwards okay then but uh, uh, what happens bus or car will not slip down why because of the friction between its tires and the road so because of the see centripetal force or centrifugal reaction is acting in this direction okay friction will be acting towards the center so here what we have to understand is if any body if any body has to move in a circular path there has to be some centripetal force there has to be some centripetal force okay so for example um moon is revolving around the earth who is responsible for centripetal force gravitational force of attraction electrons are revolving around the nucleus who is responsible for centripetal force electrostatic force of attraction so similarly here if you have to take a turn someone has to be responsible for centripetal force that is force of friction means for centrifugal force acting on the car is outwards outwards okay but the friction between the tires and the roads is acting towards the center of the circular road say the radius of the circular uh, road level road here is r okay now now see if this uh, if the speed of the car increases okay if the speed of the car increases mv square by r also increases if v increases mv square by r also increases but frictional force is equal to mv square by r as v increases mv square by r increases f frictional force also increases because we know that static friction is a self adjusting force okay and why we have to consider static friction see car is moving in this direction correct now car is moving forward okay along the horizontal see centrifugal reaction is acting in this direction what is the displacement of the car in this direction or whether the car is moving in this direction no so therefore we have to consider static friction okay mv square by r as velocity increases friction also increases okay but what is the maximum value of static friction maximum value of static friction we call it as limiting friction okay there is a limit up to which you can increase the speed of the car there is a limit up to which you can increase the speed of the car that maximum speed i call it as vm Corresponding static friction is maximum. After that, if you still increase the speed of the car, then the, the uh, car will go out of the track. Correct? Now, it, it, will, it, will, uh, it will be thrown outwards. Okay. So, what is uh, limiting friction? What is the uh, formula for limiting friction? Okay, I'll write here. Limiting friction is equal to mu into n, if you remember. Where mu is called coefficient of limiting friction. Okay, what is normal reaction? See here, weight of the car is acting downwards and the normal reaction is acting upwards. Car is not going up, car is not going down. So in the vertical direction, car is in equilibrium. Therefore, n normal reaction 
is equal to mg okay normal reaction is equal to mg so limiting friction is equal to mu into mg so this i am going to substitute here so what happens mu into mg is equal to m into vm square divided by r m m gets cancelled vm square is equal to mu g r or vm is equal to square root of mu g r what is this vm vm stands for maximum safe speed vm stands for maximum safe speed with which you can take a turn okay if the car moves with higher velocity higher than vm then uh, it will go out of the track it will slip okay it will be thrown away okay so what we have to understand here is if you have to take a turn there should be a friction there should be friction okay so for example you are running very fast and uh, oil has been poured on the floor and you you start to slip once you start to slip you cannot take a turn if you have to take a turn there has to be friction okay say for example uh, if you are riding a bicycle on a on a concrete road on a concrete road then it it is quite easy for you to take a turn if you are riding a bicycle on a glass road or a, you know in a, in a road where in friction is very 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 minimum then uh, taking turn becomes difficult hope you can understand if you want to take a turn friction is must otherwise you will always go straight okay it will it will become slipping okay so that is why see what is mu mu is coefficient of friction okay if friction is absent okay if there is a smooth surface if friction is absent then if friction is absent if friction is zero friction is zero means what mu is zero if friction is absent maximum speed with which you can take a turn becomes equal to zero means you cannot take a turn so friction is responsible friction is required for the car to take a turn on a horizontal road and the maximum safe speed with which you can take a turn is equal to square root of mu g r hope you understood this so who is responsible for centripetal force friction force of friction is responsible for centripetal force as the velocity of the car increases this mv square also by mv square by r also increases friction also increases okay but there is a maximum value for stat uh, static friction that is limiting friction okay corresponding to that you have got maximum speed okay so what is the equation for limiting friction limiting friction equal to mu into normal reaction what is normal reaction normal reaction is equal to mg so you substituted mm gets cancelled you got an equation for vm okay hope you understood this derivation now there is a simple question based on that yeah so there is a bend in a level road okay there is a level road and there is a bend okay has a radius of 100 meter that that curve okay has a radius of 100 meter find the maximum speed with which a car turning this bend may have without skidding means you are asked to find out maximum safe speed if the coefficient of friction between the tires and the road is 0.8 what is given mu is given mu is given and what is given r is given okay so maximum safe speed what is the formula maximum safe speed is equal this is very simple mu into r into g so this is equal to mu is 0.8 r is 100 g let me take 10 in order to simplify the situation 100 into 0 0.8 is 80 80 into 10 is 800 square root of 800 okay what is square root of 800 uh, square root of 625 is uh, 25 square root of uh, 900 is uh, 30 yeah probably square root of 800 is uh, you know approximately 28 you please check okay i'll write straight away approximately 28 meter per second hope you understood the problem and hope you understood the derivation okay so what what is the takeaway from here in the from this derivation is if you want to take a turn friction is necessary on a level road so next class what we are doing we are calculating maximum safe speed on a banked road 
okay on a bank road in circus and all you might have seen there is no tar road or there is no concrete but still motorcycle will be okay moving in uh, circles very easily in a bank road in circle okay in a in, in a circus okay so why it is possible without friction how he can uh, take a turn we will see in the next lecture okay thank you very much